so in order to have a good and a well organized project i would advise that you create folders for the files you are going to use before you start importing files all right so when you come to the project panel here yeah, this is how i work and which i would advise you to do and i'm going to create folders so within this project panel we are going to be seeing buttons or icons here now this icon is used for creating folders it is called being in premiere pro so it says new bin so you can create new bin here i'm going to call this footages so footages that's the video files i'm going to use it. i'm going to create under bin and call it audio that's why i'm going to make use of my sound i'm going to create an under bin and call it graphics so if you have any graphics intro graphics or the outro whatever it is you want to make it up so basically these are three things i work with now inside my footage i'm going to have different bins within my footage bin so basically i use two cameras for our services so i'm going to create a bin for camera one click the footage again and then click the new bin press camera so now if you don't click the footage before you create a new bin for instance if camera one is the one that is selected and create a new bin now you see that it's going to create the bin as you know a sub bin inside the bin that is selected so make sure you are conscious of which bin you select when you want to create a new bin so so that when i hide footage all of my camera bins are hidden you can hide and open using these arrow bars now i'm going to import my project files into the selected folders according to the arrangements that i have here there are two ways of let me say three ways you can import basically you can go to file and click imports all right and you're going to navigate where your files is you can press ctrl i and the same thing happens i'm going to go to import you can right click on the project panel and go to imports that's another way but the easiest way that works for me is i'm going to have the files open where they are located for instance this is my my card is connected to my camera right now and this is the this is where my video files are located so if you have copied yours into an external disk or whatever it is you're going to locate it i'm going to select it for instance this is camera one i'm going to drag it into premiere pro so that i don't have to start searching for the folder inside premiere pro so i'm going to drag the files into camera one all right so the files has been imported into camera so if i hide my camera one being i'm going, not going to see them and if i open it you're going to see them once again so it, that's the reason why i asked you to create folders or bins so that your work can be well arranged as you create your project all right so i'm going to go to my second camera and look at where my files are and select them and drag it into my premiere pro put it in camera two all right so that's the same in camera two so i have my camera one in camera one camera two in camera two my camera two footages on camera two being camera one footages on camera one being all right now my audio my audio file i'm going to locate where my audio file is and i'm going to drag that as well into the audio bin into the audio bin all right so graphics in this case i mean the it could be your lower thoughts or images or intro whatever it is that you use so i'm going to locate that as well and i'm going to import it into the graphics folder all right so once i import that i can choose to hide it 
So the next thing to do is to create a sequence. Now, within the sequence, that's where your salmon is going to be edited. So you have brought your files into the project, but you can only edit them within the sequence. Now, to create a sequence, there are different ways by which you can create a sequence. Now, you can go to File, New, and create a new sequence. Now, you need to set the dimension of the sequence. Now, you have to be conscious of the settings you use to record your salmon. You have to consider the aspect ratio you used. You are going to consider the frame size, the frame rate, you know, the aspect ratio for you to choose the right settings of sequence that will match the camera settings that you use. Now, to avoid all of these settings, to reduce the complication, I don't do it this way, to avoid all of those complications. Now, another way you can create sequence is to use the settings of your camera of the file you recorded on your camera to create a sequence so for instance now i can use my camera one one of the files on my camera one to create a sequence to do that you're just going to click on the file right click and create new sequence from clip so when i press new sequence from clip it's going to create a new sequence automatically it's going to name it after the file with which i used to create it and it's going to use the settings of the file with which I used to create it. So you'll notice that my sequence is going to be exactly the frame size of the footage I'm using. So I don't need to bother myself about the aspect ratio, the frame size, or you know the frame rate which I used to record. It's going to copy those settings automatically from the files I used to create the sequence. Alright, so the first thing I can do is to rename the sequence. I can name this uh salmon edit salmon edit so another folder i forgot to create the other time is a sequence folder so in cases where you want to create multiple sequences for instance there are multiple salmons you want to edit it's advisable you edit them on different sequences all right so i'm going to create a new bin and call it sequences so now i can drag the sequence which i created inside camera one and drag it inside the sequence folder so that way it makes it easy for me to access my sequence in cases where i have multiple sequences all right so now i can choose to delete this um, video file which i used to create a sequence back i'm going to demonstrate this in a later tutorial so make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you can be notified when i post this video so i believe you have learned one thing or the other in today's tutorial if so i want you to click the like button and share this video with your friends in the media who might need this video to learn and to improve in their skills as a self-guard through the media so till i come your way next time in a new tutorial remain in the lord's service god bless you thank you